Hey, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes, moving information back and forth using amateur radios. Um, today is a great example. We're going to do, we're going to send an SMS message from a radio to a traditional mobile or a cellular phone. I know you could do this before with the SMS gateway, but that went away. We've got a new way to do it. So let's try that this time on KM6 LYW Radio. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. Yeah, it's the bumper music. I'm still getting away with cheap bumper music. We can't afford bumper music here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's send an SMS message to this phone using nothing more than a ham radio. We've got one down here. We've got an ICOM 705 and a Digipi, which is a, uh, a packet TNC that we're going to use. And uh, Digipi has a web management interface right here that you can see here. It's a TNC and iGate right now. We've also got something called APRS Web Chat running on the Digipi. That's something that's new, new software out there by myself and WB4BOR. In fact, let's uh, just click right over here to launch the web chat interface. So historically, we would send a packet to SMS GTE, and when I said, I don't know, a simple path, and we say at, you know, some alias or phone number, a test message. Um, when we do that now, it sends a packet out, and we don't get a reply. At least for me, I know this is working for some people. If you go out to SMS GTE, their website, they're going to say the SMS GTE service is currently offline uh, because of new regulations and a host of bureaucracy problems, I suspect. Um, but I've got to hand it to a guy named Michael Phelps, not the swimmer, but an awesome radio operator, Michael Phelps, NA7Q. Sorry, Michael, I haven't reached out to you yet. I hope it's okay that, that I just uh, put you on the spot here. Um, but Michael Phelps basically recreated a new SMS GTE. In fact, the radio is called SMS. So it's even shorter. It's better. It's easier to type. It's hard to type on these radios, right? So if you're sending an SMS. So let's see if we can use the SMS virtual radio uh, using APRS-enabled radio like this or the DigiPi down here on the ICOM 705 and see if we can send a message to the cellular or mobile phone and then send it back. Um, this should work anywhere in the world, um, at least to phones that are in the United States and Canada. I think there's some restrictions there. So this is largely targeted to, to uh, our users in um, USA and Canada. Uh, the one big difference here is before you do this, um, you need to go to, let me see if I can pull it down here. Uh, he has a little website to opt in. So this is probably gets around some of the spam stuff. So go to theconnectdesk.com. That's theconnectdesk.com slash SMS, uppercase. And this is where you can put in phone numbers that you can send messages to with your, your amateur radio using the SMS APRS virtual radio. So make sure you put your destination phone numbers in here. Um, that should prevent a lot of the spam. Yeah, it's kind of a hassle. You can't just send it to any number on the fly. But, you know, if you're just sending messages to the XYL, that's probably pretty cool. This is, this is what I'm going to use it for. I think it's fantastic. All right, so let's go back to our messaging interface. Yeah, SMS GTE. Sorry, it's dead uh, for a lot of probably really bad reasons. So let's see if we can send a message using the SMS virtual radio. Uh, this is going to be a Digipath, a wide one. That should work. I have a tremendous amount of noise. On VHF today, we're going to see how this works. So what this is doing, this is a web interface that's talking to this Digipi over here. Um, see digipi.org if you want to get a Digipi. It goes to patrons of the channel. And this web interface is running on the Digipi. And I am going to send an APRS formatted message out on 144.390, which is the APRS frequency here in the Americas. It's uh, 144.800 for those of you in Europe. All right, so what is our message going to be? It's going to be uh, at and then a phone number. Yes, I'm using a phone number here, and I'm trusting you guys not to share it. I know you're all mature adults. This is the reason we can have we have nice things. And I say this, a test message to my phone from a radio. Exclamation point. All right, and now I'm going to send it. Message is going out now. I don't know, you guys like hearing this stuff? Let me turn up the volume for you. It's insanely loud here. Here we go. I'm going to send it. All right, we sent it, and sure enough, there's the message. It's on the phone. Look at that. Here's the test message, and it worked. And don't give out Michael's cellular phone thing here. Wow, that's really loud. 
That is really loud. Okay, we sent it. Um, also, you'll notice we got a little thumbs up here on the packet. That means we got the acknowledgement packet through the APRS network. And this, all everything over here is all over RF, right? And then uh, Michael's SMS virtual radio is on the internet and connected to the cellular network. And that's how it made it all the way through to my phone. So let's um, <clears throat> let's let's open it here. So here, you know, here's the message. We got it. This is the test message. I'm gonna say, all right. This is I don't know what should we say a reply from phone to radio and I'll put some exclamation points on there all right so this is a reply from phone to radio I'm going to send that right now if you can read that here we go we're sending it and we're going to watch the radio over here and we should get a packet that comes in as long as the SMS system knows where I am and <laughs> It, it already happened. We got it. We got the reply. So this is a reply from phone to radio. I'm sure you guys can see that. I could probably make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so we did it. So once again, I want to put Michael's uh, page out here. This is uh, theconnectdesk.com slash SMS, uppercase. Put Opt in your phone numbers there. Um, that we can get two-way SMS texting on, from your HT to regular phones and back again. Thank you, Michael, for putting the service together. Um, I was really bummed out when SMS GTE uh, kind of went down the drain. So totally cool. All right, so I this none of this would be happening. None of this would be working. We wouldn't see this if it wasn't for the patrons of the channel. Thank you, guys. Let me see if I can find you. Uh, find you here, patrons. Thank you, Steve Matsura, NW2, Andrew Fu, BS, Chris, Jake, Brian, Jim, Malcolm, Paul, Buddy, Robert. Thank you, guys. So, patrons of the channel, what do you get if you're interested in this little device down here? This uh, what we call DigiPi. It's the ultimate data transceiver. It does every mode you can think of, and it's all browser-based. You just point your web browser at it. That's all you need. You don't need to be a Linux hacker. So patrons get access to the SD card image that's in that right now. In fact, if you go out to digipi.org, you can download that. Again, patrons of the channel get access to the DigiPi. Um, you'll get that web chat interface for APRS. You can hook it up to any radio. I've got the ICOM 705 here right now for, uh, for fun. So this goes to the patrons of the channel. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. There are are so many of you now um, really what we're doing is getting more people on data modes and you know the more patrons we have the more people we have in data modes and more people to talk to um, you know one of these times someone I, I think I'm gonna do a live show and you guys can just send me APRS messages and we'll see if we can just break the system somehow in fact it's APRS Thursday right now um, so yeah the, the system's kind of overloaded uh, with APRS traffic so yeah we're surviving APRS Thursday I've got some digipeters here that are just going wild but it's a lot of fun you know the more people that are into data modes the better right I really think we need to move this technology forward um, and get it like cell phones you know when was the last time you caught a kid actually talking on a phone they're not they're texting so if we want to keep the next generation in amateur radio i think we need to focus on data and digital modes and what's a better way to do this than with aprs texting so hey patrons thank you guys i really appreciate it uh, hey this has been another quickie let me know how you're using um sms uh radio to sms and back again and michael phelps na7q thank you buddy this is fantastic i'll reach out and see what you're up to hey my name is Craig. This is KM6LYW. I am in California and I am clear.